everyone. I wanted to do a quick review on Photoshop's new magical little feature called Generative Fill. It's an AI-based uh, fill tool. If you're uh, familiar with the content aware fill tool that Photoshop had before, uh, this is kind of a step up and it's using some AI stuff that Adobe has going on. I don't really know that much about it. So let's go ahead and dive in and see if it's any good or not. All right, before we get too far into uh, this video, I want you to see the video that they show on the website. And so let's go ahead and check that out. And I'll turn down the sound for that. So you can see that it's um, they've just made a selection around this biker and they're gonna add uh, a yellow road lines and it just magically appears with a nice little crack in it. They select the side, generative fill, and it makes this perfect seam. Um, it looks great. I mean, it, it looks fantastic. If it was going to be like this, I would uh, absolutely love it. Um, and so this seems like a tool that anybody could use in Photoshop. But I wanted to show you their sample of it before I show you my review of it and actually trying it on a real image because they make it, of course, look as easy as it could possibly be. And maybe they're doing something um, different, but I'll show you the results that I got. Not quite this uh, level. Let's dive into that. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into the new generative fill for Photoshop. Let's go ahead and test out extending the canvas, which they did so magically uh, in their demo. Let's see what happens. Uh, so it's under edit. That's where your, I don't know if you're able to see my top of my screen here, but it's under the edit command. And we go down to, let's just try the content aware fill first so we can get a metric for what uh, what it used to do, you know, so you can see it right here. If I select OK, uh, that's what we get. So it's spinning for a minute. I've got an older Mac, which I'm hopefully getting ready to replace. And so it's a little bit slow, but it's calculating a lot. I mean, it's a great time saver. That's not bad. You see a lot of repetition down here in the trees that would have to be worked on. But at least it sort of gets you in the ballpark. You see a lot of repetition up here. Um, and so at least it gets you in the ballpark. Uh, so not a bad option, but let's go ahead and try the generative fill. Here it is under the edit command as well. So that is going to bring up this little dialog box. And let's just go ahead and say fill with um, trees. Let's try some specific trees. Let's try palm trees. Hit generate. And watch the magic happen. It's actually going faster than the content fill, which is surprising. So here we go. And it's going to give us, there's three options. <laughs> that looks totally natural, doesn't it? That looks amazing. Um, it does give you three examples. You can see down here, it gives you, or sorry, variations. So you can click on each one and see this, the magic that happened there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's not even usable in any way at all. So let's go ahead and, uh, and, and, and turn that off. That's a mess. Let's just do it straight up. If you just hit generative fill, but don't say anything, it should do a smarter uh, sort of content aware fill. And so it should fill this space in here with something usable. Let's give it a go. You can see it chugging along there, thinking of its... <laughs> it just re repeated my illustration uh, almost line for line. That's very, very, very concerning um, and not natural at all. So it, oh, it looks like it just flopped it because the shadows on this side versus this side. Yeah, that's not usable in any possible way. That didn't give me three options on that one, or maybe I missed it. Let's, let me try it again. Oh, there's, there's the three options. So there's the second option. It just took out that weird boat down there. And then the third option. I mean, it looks natural, but it's just it, all it did is just copy my image and paste it over there. So that's not going to work either. So the, you know, the, the canvas fill portion of this doesn't work at all. Let's try adding a window. Let's add a little window right here. Let's see what we can get. Go under generative fill. Let's just say window. Generate. This should be faster because it's smaller, maybe. Let's 
calculating. I mean, it's interesting because I've got a pencil line here. I've got watercolor of effects from Photoshop. Oh, that's not as bad. Oh, that one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. It, it mimicked my line work, which is actually pretty shocking. That one's no good. That's pretty good. I could actually work with that. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't really fit the building, so it didn't give me exactly what I wanted. But that's not a disaster like the canvas fill was. Let's go ahead and add a chimney right here. Generative fill. Let's say chimney. Let's see what we get. Definitely not as good as the demo that Photoshop or that Adobe is putting out, you know, with a, I mean, or maybe it works better with photographs. I'm not totally sure. Uh, it's not working that great with illustration so far. Well, that's a mess. That is a mess. And that is also a mess. These are, they're, <laughs> they're just putting, pho <laughs> they're just putting photographs in there. Um, that looks really stupid. Let's go down here and add a boat. Let's say profile, side view of boat. Because I don't want it to give me some weird perspective. Oh my gosh. Well, it's trying. You know, it's... It's doing good. As they say in the South, uh, bless your heart. You're trying so hard. <laughs> uh, so, you know, so far we're not, uh, just just nothing's going really that well for this except for um, the window up here, which was okay. I give it a, if I ate at a score of a 10, I'd give it a, like a seven maybe out of a 10. The other one's totally not usable, total disaster. So I got this image of, um, that was a previous one I did, the snowboarder. Uh, and so I wanted to add something to this scene. So I wanted to go ahead and click like this. And I have, oops, I'm going to add some, some more trees, maybe some pine trees. Pine trees generate, Let's see what it does. So this is a photograph. So maybe it does better with photographs at this point, because maybe it's culling from a supply of Adobe stock that is photographs. That's not as bad. That's not terrible. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's bizarre. But that's nice. That's not bad. I mean, that is totally, totally workable. Let's see if we could, uh, let's, let's see what would happen if we do palm trees right there. <laughs> Maybe it just struggles with palm trees only. Not that there would be palm trees where you're snowboarding, but hey. All right, giving it a go. It's thinking about it. <laughs> that's, not, that's not terrible. Um, it, it, it's orienting them. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting that it can see the mountain. I wish it would have added a little bit of snow right there, but it's much, it seems to be much better with photographs let's see the other uh, <laughs> that is crazy looking and that's pretty funny too and look it did put the snow in front of this bush right there that's interesting it does look like he's jumping over that bush that's that's not terrible i don't know what this little artifact is here but um anyway so you can see that how it's working for photographs don't know how great it's going to work for paintings right now but you can see this technology is definitely getting better and better uh, and this is just the you know the first round of it so I'm sure they're gonna make a bunch of tweaks to it it's definitely going to change how people work in Photoshop it's gonna change how people work digitally um, it's gonna offer a lot of benefits but it's also going to uh, you know there's pros and cons I guess I'll leave it at that and uh, we'll you know it remains to be seen on on which one's heavier and at some point people aren't gonna have to draw anymore and they're just going to just be generating, you know, put a building over here. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Let's do this building. Oh, no, that, let's add a different window to it. It's going to be a process of, of editing instead of making. And I'm not sure I'm in love with that either. But that's where we are right now. So we'll see where all this lands. Um, 
that's going to be it for now. Right now, I'm going to give it a verdict of thumbs down uh, with potential, and we'll see what that potential is. Thanks for joining me.